Have you ever wondered why rabbits have a tail? Well, I have and I can tell you that little fluff ball isn't just there because it looks cute. Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I am the bunny mom of four adorable rabbits. In this video I am going to tell you why rabbits have a tail and how they can use it, what it's good for. So. Let's start right away. To escape predators. Maybe you have noticed that wild rabbits, also known as cotton tails, have white tails. Well, the cotton, cotton is also white and the underside of the tails is usually white and the upper part of the tail can be a more, well, brownish color. And that's not just because it looks nice, this really has a function. This rabbit tail can be used to confuse predators. When a rabbit is running away, he will do this in a zigzagging movement. So left, right, left, right. And the rabbit tail will move in the opposite direction of the direction the bunny is running into. So the predator will see something white and then that disappears and there's something white and it disappears and the predator will have to adjust constantly and this takes time of course and this you know it can be a fraction of a second and this can be enough for the bunny to save time and escape. Well of course domestic rabbits don't all have white tails. There are a lot of domestic rabbits that have grey tails or brown or something different because that's how they were breeded. I mean it looks beautiful and you know domestic rabbits usually don't have to escape from predators anymore so the use of white and the tail isn't really necessary anymore. To keep balance. As you know rabbits like to move a lot, they like to jump, they like to you know to stand up and to run. Well of course like I just said they, when they are trying to escape they, um, they run in zigzagging motions and the tail it can move so it can help them keep balance which is of course very important. A rabbit doesn't want to fall because then he can be eaten you know and it's well it's much safer of course to not fall. To communicate a rabbit's tail is also used to communicate to other rabbits or even to you. A rabbit can tell another rabbit at a great distance that something is going on. For instance, maybe there's a predator approaching and then the bunny can, you know, flick its tail and the white can be seen at a greater distance and the other bunny knows, whoa, there's something going on and I have to warn my other companions and we have to escape or hide. <laughs> so that's very useful. A rabbit can also tell another rabbit that he's ready for courtship to mate by moving the tail in a specific way. But also it can be a sign of hostility. I have uh, two rabbits in my house that don't get along very well, Shira and Flipje. They can't live together and Sierra really wants to, you know, bite Flipje, attack her. Sometimes when Sierra is next to Flipje's pen, Sierra wants to attack Flipje through the bars. And I can already tell that because yeah, Sierra still is a bit, you know, straighter and even raised. And then I can be ready to uh, come in between because of course I don't want them to fight. I don't want Sierra to bite Flipje through the bars. So I can, you know, come in between, move Sierra away. So it's uh, really a sign of hostility. So whenever you see your rabbit raise it still and maybe the rabbit is near you, you have to be really careful because your rabbit can attack. To regulate the temperature. Rabbits don't like hot temperatures. They can get overheated very quickly and they can use the tail to regulate their temperature. They do this by moving the tail to adjust the airflow around their body. So that's very useful for them to cool down. In spite of this, it's of course very important to help your rabbits keep cool enough during hot days. So keep your rabbit inside or provide something to cool them like a cool pot to spread their scent. Rabbits have scent glands near their tail and they can use this to spread their scent. And this is to mark their territory. Rabbits are territorial creatures, which means they choose their own territory and they'd like to, you know, spread their scent to tell other rabbits and other animals that this area is theirs and not someone else's. They can use that by spreading their urine, by, you know, leaving poops, but also by spreading, you know, some scents using for instance their chins but also their tail. 
To me, it was quite surprising to learn that the rabbit still has so many functions. And of course, when you look at domestic rabbits, some functions aren't really, you know, necessary anymore. They, domestic rabbits usually don't have to escape from predators anymore. But of course, they do need to keep balance, to regulate their temperature, to communicate to each other, to you. So there are still a lot of functions. It's also interesting to know that the rabbit still, although it might look very round and fluffy, and of course it is fluffy, but the rabbit still isn't round. When you feel the rabbit still, then you feel that it's actually quite long and thin, and it's very sensitive. So I say when you feel your rabbit still, but your rabbit, I don't think your rabbit will actually like it because it's so sensitive. And the rabbit doesn't like when you touch its bottom. So he will probably go away and look at you, you know, like, what were you just doing to my tail? <laughs> me too, me too, don't touch me. <laughs> so, uh, but that's interesting to know. I hope this video was interesting to you. Maybe you know some other reasons why a rabbit has a tail. Maybe something I haven't mentioned yet. So please share them in the comments. And if you like this video, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, you can subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.